And when I say the top 10 things, I mean the top 10 things. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi there, if you're new there. Hi, I'm Siskelicious, and this is Siskelicious Entertainment. And this is an avenue where we dazzle. If you're returning subscriber, baby, thank you so much for coming back. Um, before we continue with this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely share so that we reach a much wider audience. And please do turn on your notification bells, guys. Like, it's very vital for me, like, for you guys to turn on your notification bells so that you guys can be in the front seat of my boarding plane. Please don't be left behind. So please do turn on your notification bells so that you can be notified. You know, the minute I post, the exact minute I post, before I'm even notified that I posted the video, you guys are notified already, you know. That's how su supreme and premierish you are, you know. I don't know if that's worthy when that exists. But yeah, guys, if you guys have seen by the title of this video, it's top 10 things people don't tell you about varsity. And yeah, so basically today is Wednesday. I was actually vlogging, so I was like, I mixed up the videos, you know. I like did content for before this on my other vlog that you guys will see after this video. But yeah, that's not even about it today. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically going to be telling you guys the top 10 things that people don't tell you about Varsity. And when I say the top 10 things, I mean the top 10 things. Like, I literally mean the top 10 things that people don't tell you about Varsity Life. So buckle up and please do listen and please do share in every insight that you can. Every family members that are coming to college, that are coming to Varsity and everything. I'll share my Varsity experience here and there. But basically this video, the main idea of this video is to plug you guys with the top 10 things that people don't tell you about varsity people literally leave this out people don't mention it people take this as a discarded disregarded motion sort of vibes you know they like take it like you're a black sheep like this is the black 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 sheep topic sort of vibes so they don't tell so they don't tell you these things about varsity and it's very vital for students you guys should know you know even if it's the raw unfiltered truth you guys should know the raw unfiltered truth so number one people over over exaggerate vento and it's not even close to the picture that they're painting like this literally stresses me out this is like thorns that are plugged into my brain cells into my membrane you know into my medulla like plugged in and it's like i want to remove them but i can't like people over over exaggerate exaggerate vento like you know especially when you're like out of vento like you haven't like attended your high school in vento like let's say you're coming from like a smaller town or either you're even coming from another town People over exaggerate when people are like, the minute you breathe, you know, you get stabbed, you get slaughtered, you get painted against the walls, you know, you know, they like, you get, they over exaggerate when and it's not even close to the picture that they're painting. Yes, when is dangerous, yes, when is wild, but the way they over exaggerate things, it's not really, when is not really, really that over, over mind blowing wild. Like, no, it's not really that wild. All you need to do is like, you need to keep an open mind. Whenever you go, you need to be safe always make sure that by all means you don't walk around alone like you don't go to places around even if it's just the mall you feel like oh, i'm just going to the mall all right okay fine cool you know you'll have your friend and then you have to pay for your friend cap or something but by all means like most of the times just make sure that you don't go along you know take along if, you, if a friend is going like be like i'm going with you i'm taking along with you if you're going like if you have that if you have that cash to like pay for your friend cap just pay for your friend cap dude go pay for, pay for your friend cap like it's not a big deal you know but just by all means just don't 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 go alone or like make sure that you're always awake like one thing you need to be in bed doing is German bakar beers German face beers don't be sleepy don't be like ah this person looks clean ah this person is dead German need bakar beers because the minute that they see that no you're sleeping like this person is this and that you feel like ah this person is clean this person looks like that he doesn't look, he doesn't give that signs trust me that is the number one most wanted guy in the business that is literally the most number one most most wanted guy in the business Yo, guys, those people were confused. Those people will paint a picture and man, man, rainbow, what, what, way, black and white inside, etc. So, yeah, Venduk is not really that wild as people paint it. People like always are like, no, you need to make sure that you don't step a foot outside. If you step a foot outside, you're getting slaughtered, you're getting, you know, they're gonna take your intestines out, they're gonna hang it for us to see and for us, you know, they over exaggerate Venduk. Like, it's wild, it's wild, it's so crazy. The fact that they over exaggerate Venduk till that point, painting that whole picture. While it's not even close to the picture, that's so, 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 so super wild. Like, Vintuk is not as wild as people say it is or as people paint, paint it as it is. Number two, enjoy your bastardy life, but do so safely. Like, enjoy your life. Guys, I'm going to tell you this. Bastardy life only. Like, it's like school life, you know. School life, you know, we all go wild, you know. But especially when we come to high school, you know, we go wild, you know. We're not our seniors, you know. We like come to grade 10. And we, like, we feel like we're seniors. We're upper class. Then we come to grade 11. We're wearing our maroon shirts, you know. We're wearing a designated color. And then we come to grade 12. And we feel like, ah, 
where the matriculants of the school you know like that sort of vibes so it's like a once in a lifetime sort of opportunity that you get in varsity you have to enjoy guys you literally have to enjoy let no one lie to you let no one lie to you don't be don't let no one lie to you and come and tell you nah 24 7 your books 24 7 your books you're literally gonna get a brain attack not even a panic attack you're literally gonna get a brain attack your brain is gonna be dead and then this whole time you think you're living while you touch your pulse you, you check yourself ah i'm not living sort of vibes so enjoy your varsity life guys explore do the most enjoy it but do so safely like do so safely like take precautions you know always know the routes that you're going to like if you're not go clubbing if you're not go like grooving always make sure that you go to groove that you have to pay entrance you know whenever you go to groove and then you see like now nah, entrance is not being paid it's free or whatever that is literally where dodgy people are that's where you find weird people people that move weird most of them you find it dead places that are not paid entrance so you should always make sure even if you go grooving go to places where you have to pay entrance or if you like feel like nah i want to go chill in the castle or something go at daytime if you're not staying in the castle and come back back to where you're staying you know but always do so safely and please enjoy your varsity life guys i'm begging you i'm literally pleading with you enjoy your varsity life i'm not i'm not pressurizing anyone's child i'm not pressurizing i'm not saying anything as to pressurize or to say yeah, i pay pressure or no sis said so i'm not doing that i'm just saying enjoy your varsity life do that it's for your own good you know number three read your prospectus as soon as you get admitted and stay up to date of what's required of you guys i never knew maybe we were told this but i was here for orientation as well like i was literally here for part one part two of the orientation but i don't know did they tell us this i'm i i i like literally my mind is playing like i don't know if they told us if they didn't tell us but my mind is literally playing no one told me like reach your prospectus we're literally here running around this semester only like literally our, all my course or my most of my course mates like my friends my girlies we're running around going to faculty offices what like just trying to get clarification but everything is written down there in black and white why why us why must we allow you know the world's circumstances to diminish us like why you know so read your prospectus if you see you got admitted into a course if you're doing your bachelor's of accounting business admin if you're doing this if you're doing what law what read your prospectus read your prospectus for the current year and know what's required of you and stay up to date so that when things get jiggly you don't feel like ah i only need 12 credits to pass but you feel like ah that's too late because you only found out that you need 12 credits to pass and that's too late there's no way you're gonna redeem your credits to pass sort of vibes so read your prospectus guys this is something that has been going like students my friends personally not even students my friends are literally undergoing this they like this are required of us and like this now they are pressurizing their brains because they need to literally score the maximum to get those fullest credits to pass but if they would have known this because we played guys to be honest we played we played first semester we played my girlies and i we played bro, we played so this semester literally all my friends my girlies we've literally been juggling like around prospectors that's going to faculty offices this and that inquiring this and that getting but everything was written down there why were we and then we acted like you know we acted like it's something that just came out of you know pluto or mars or something like that like we just acted like that but the things were written down in black and white so please do read your prospectus the minute that you get admitted and know what's required of you so the red and for my fellow upcoming students incoming students you'll have dark days like literally you'll have dark days you'll have those days that you just want to like throw the towel in or something you literally have like dark days like dark days you'll want to break at some point you know and you'll have like that times that you want to throw in the towel yes everyone trust me there's not even one being that has been at the spot of saying nah there was not a time that i didn't want to quit there was not a time that i didn't want to throw in the towel yes you prayed for it you were you're standing you know we always thought like don't complain for things that you prayed for because you prayed for varsity to get invested now you get invested you're like ah school is this school is this school is this you literally prayed to be there that's like you undermining god's blessings you know what what but then as a human being you like literally break at some point you want to throw in the towel you're like you feel like this is too much for me like you know you literally feel like that is i i can assure you there's not even one being that has doesn't that hasn't had that episode or episodes in their life like literally you'll undergo that you'll want to throw in the towel you'll be have dark days you want to break at some point even if it's just not academically there'll be things going on in your life guys varsity is a whole transformation varsity is not all fun and games okay fine it's cool and calm and what what it's exciting it's everything it's feelings their emotions happiness what what but the thing that you need to capture in your mind and in touch is this is going to be a whole different chapter a whole different stage of your life that you're literally gonna indulge yourself in so you're gonna literally have to infuse all that and literally your body has to like transform and like come into come into agreement that this is my new life like this this is gonna be my new life from here onwards it's adulting like this is your 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 your, your, your what is this 
this is already your preparation in adulting like you're literally adulting so yeah you can have dark days you want to throw in the towel what, what, but what, what, what i can assure you is you're definitely gonna see the the sun rise and you're definitely gonna try again that i can assure you you're definitely gonna see the sunrise and you're definitely gonna see the assurance that today is another day that i can definitely make it you know if it was easy everyone could do it but you had the opportunity like you have the opportunity you know so always remember the sun will rise and we'll try again like no matter what that's the one thing that kept me in comfort i was like today was bad lord but the sun will rise tomorrow and we'll try again if it doesn't work out the sun will rise next week and we'll try again if it doesn't work out, it will rise next month and we'll still try again. If it doesn't, it will rise a year and we'll try again. That's literally the thing that kept me going. And one thing that you also need to have is coping mechanism. Yo! Like, you literally need to know how to cope. Like, you need to cope under the circumstances. At some point, you'll sit and be like, shoot, but I, I lived that. Despite it, I was living, I coped, you know. So, you literally, let me just move this thing closer. So, you literally just have to have the coping mechanism into you like you need to have the coping mechanism into you to have to cope and adapt to those you know those 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 this new transformations and this new changes you literally need to have that but yeah love and light i'm just wishing you love and light on your darkest days remember the sun will definitely rise and we'll try again and i wish you love and light dazzles and dazzles and dazzles and spot colors of lights i don't even know what i said but yeah number five like this is like something vital and this is something that we all like tend to or most of us will tend to learn the hard way ne? number five learn to categorize your friends because not all of them are gonna be riders like not all of them not everyone that you are kicking with you know when you're coming here as freshmen or you're coming here as first years you're always like kicking with everyone then you're like ah, that's my friend i found myself friend 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 okay fine cool for that kiki 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 time your friends what about okay fine your acquaintances but then you feel like your friends your friends nah, nah. but the minute you guys i literally admit it the minute that you know you you like um you 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 bounce off your class and everything and you feel like ah, this is my friend we, you know we made an orientation like hi friend what about no like even even like your classmates or something like you might have like those people that you're kicking with in your classmates you should learn to categorize them because not all of them are going to be writers because you can't be kicky with everyone and also at the same time like you know you exchange numbers and then you're like kicky over like you know like you know i'm facing this problems in the person and then you vent to the person and this and that you need to learn how to categorize your friends you need to know which are your writers which are academic friends which are the friends that you can tend to for help because yes you're gonna find new friends that you can tend to do for help you're gonna find new friends that you can actually vent to true genuine friends i let me not even lie to you like you're gonna find true genuine friends and you're also gonna find friends that you don't really need to vent to like you don't need to vent to like friends that you know that you're just for there for serving academic purposes because i personally have friends i have friends that i made new friends but i have friends that i vent to i have friends that i like literally be kicky with what 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 not even friends like they're just acquaintances sort of vibes okay but i categorize them but for now i'll just say like friends just to make it more you know official or something like that and then you know i have those people that i i i i i, I like have for academic purposes you know for like just each other and you're like you know that and then I also have friends that I can basically vent to. I have friends that I can turn to in my darkest days sort of vibes. So I've literally categorized my friends. I will never go to a friend that I serve academic purposes to. Not that it's like you aren't like using each other sort of vibes. But you know, you're always there for each other academically. You know, when you, whenever you need help academically, this person is there. You're there, vice versa. And you know, you're just watching out watching out for each other there, you know, sort of vibes. But you actually can't go to that person and be like venting like, I have this problem and this is happening at home and this is happening with me and this and that and that learn to categorize your friends and also you should learn to socialize a lot because you'll need someone this is what he said umuntu wapandu wa. i don't know what they say but that that that, that that's an african code i literally write it down here that's an african code it's like we are people through people like you 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 literally people through people like i see a lot of kids like you know i'm not thinking i'm so shade or anything but this straightforward this direct like people act as if like there are certain people that act like ah i don't need anyone you know proud word but you're literally someone through someone you're someone you're your person through another person you never know how you might meet that person in another in in a in a, in a in a certain sort of incident or in a certain type of event but you can only be a person through another person you know so learn to social socialize a lot this is what i'm i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like ah this guy you're saying this but i do socialize a lot and you know i talk every time i get a chance at rest i i mean at rest 
I socialize more at rest than at school, you know, because I feel like at school I have my my girlies, my girlies that I can run to, you know, for academic what help and this and that. But yet rest, this is like literally where I spend most of my time. So I socialize as much as I can here, yeah, you know. Whenever I see anyone, I don't even know we don't speak. I'll just be like if we pass each other, I'll be like greeting you, smiling, you know. We'll be out, we'll have a like literally have a decent conversation with each other, you know. So I socialize here a lot because I know that you know one day I'll probably need this, you know, one day I'll need to ask, you know, probably an iron, my iron, my breakout, I'll need a charger, I'll need this and that. And that maybe this person might help me open the gate maybe this person might help me. you know just you're a person through another person as a person dear another person so always learn to socialize you know always learn to socialize as much as you can i don't mean go out there and be that extrovert extrovert i'm not forcing you because we're all not you know where some of us are anti-social some of us are introverts you know but socialize every chance that you can get if you are having the deep the, if, if something deep in you is like you're passing a person you're like let me greet this person like, greet the person like hurt the person always learn to socialize because you're a person through another person number six i am literally incompetent of saying this even myself like i am literally incompetent incompetent competent in me that's me but number six, learn to attend all your lectures. And I mean all, 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 all your lectures. Learn to attend all your lectures. Like, the thing is that, and people make TikToks about this, but it's legit, legit, legit true. Oh, sorry. I need to drink some water. Hold on there. All their thought and to attend all your lectures like literally all your lectures people do this on tiktok but it's literally legit it's for real it's for real it happens like you miss one lecture let me tell you this guys you miss one lecture and it feels like you've literally missed everything like you're the people on chapter what this that that you literally left behind there was an announcement that was made to us this and that and it always happens on the day that you feel like ah dude i won't go to school that day they are maybe finished with 19 chapters that day they are literally like told no you're gonna have four assessments tomorrow this and that and i feel like and a lot of announcements are made in class than it is made, you know, or like first-hand information. Like, why not have first-hand information, you know? Because it's not always about, like, missing out on chapters and everything, but information that is shared. I always say this, it's either be there or be told. I, I'd rather for me to hear myself than be told. Because, of course, if someone else has to tell me, that person will, like, sugarcoat the thing, you know, like, how do I say, summarize the thing, you know, sort of vibe. So you won't get like the full knowledge of what was, what exactly was said in class, you know. So always learn to attend your lectures so that you can always keep up with chapters, you know, you can always keep up with your schoolwork and you can always keep up with every info or most of the info that the lecturers share because trust and believe a lot of lecturers of ours at UNAM University of Namibia main campus share information in class. I remember, I, I not remember, I know our accounting lecturer always does. She doesn't announce nothing on groups. She literally shares that in class, you know. So every time I would ask, like, people, like, they would give me, like, a little bit, you know, she would share that and they would, like, give me, like, a 20%, like, sort of, like, a trailer of the information, like, trailer information. Imagine, they would, like, sugarcoat the information sort of vibes. So learn to attend, attend your lectures to stay on top of what is, um, what you're being informed of and also announcements and also, um, to keep, in 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 intact with your schoolwork and everything so that you aren't left behind always make sure that you are not left behind don't be left behind number huh? seven number seven this is mostly for the people that will be like renting or the people that are already renting who are gonna be staying in like staying alone or sort of vibes you know but also if you aren't renting like this also can help you so number seven prioritize your needs no matter what prioritize as a university student prioritize your needs prioritize your needs groceries and toiletries first like Jeretaya JK my friend the youtuber I put a thing yeah like literally I'm plugging guys I'm like oh, please go watch her channel as well you know so what she always says I mean what she said is that it's rather it, it's it's better it's better to be broke and have like essentials like you have food and toiletries than to be broke and hungry like and that's that's that that's on that's like for real for real legit like it's rather for it's like better it's so so 10 hundred million times better for you to be broke and have essentials like you have you know you have toiletries you have something to eat than to be broke and hungry so always prioritize your needs no matter if you get your allowance in that small money that you get know your budget know this is gonna last me for this this is gonna last me for this this is gonna last me for this that and that always prioritize your needs no matter what so that you don't run out like you know you know you, you get excited you're like no uh i know like i'll make amends if your mind is just this this is your mind playing tricks and your mind is like ah, i'll get money in the middle of the month and i'll you know I'll, I'll 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 close this hole i'll close that hole you know and then you feel like ah, i'm sorry me i'm sorry 
in actual fact, in reality, you aren't sorted. Let me say this for free. You are not sorted. So prioritize your needs, groceries and and and, and, and toiletries first. And also for the ones that are that aren't renting, that are probably the ones that are staying with family members. Always prioritize, always have toiletries as well, you know. So prioritize your needs as much as you can. Be broke but have essentials than to be broke and hungry. Like that would be the worst. Like there will be crazy shenanigans. So prioritize your needs. Number eight, like this is the most painful one, and this is literally reality. Like I am speaking this in reality, existence, the globe, everyone. First Angela. Number eight, you will see your family's true colors. You should I repeat? You will see your family's true colors. First Angela. Like literally, you guys will see your family's true colors. You know, whenever you're in high school, you're like, ah, oh, next year, you know, I have my aunt, she lives in Bentuk, I have my uncle, she lives in Bentuk, I have my, you know, this, I have my family members, I'll be sorted, you know, there's people with this and that and that. You will actually, with your own personal, in existence, in flesh, created by the spirit, breathed into, you guys will literally see your family's true colors. You will witness your family's true colors. Those aunties, those ka uncles, those ka, you know, ka family members are like kick, 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 with you. They aren't gonna be kick, 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 kick with you once you come here. You will literally, you literally will be on your own, like literally. Like personally for me, I witnessed that I'm living in that. I'm literally in the space of that. Like I have my aunts that like, I have like those couple aunts like that really push through for me. Like I, I appreciate them and I'm so grateful for their generosity. You know, I have the family members, not even just aunts like guys. I have the family members here in Bento. They actually, you know, watch out for me. But I have so many family members. So literally, it's like from the entire family members that I have living here, it's like literally only like, you know, um 20% of them that, that, that came through for me. And like this is like evident. Like most of my friends, like this is something that really happens. And it's also not just family members that live in Ventuk are in the same place as you're gonna study. It's also family members around, you know. As a student, a little can go a long way. Trust me. Even just with being ten dollar guys, that will change everything. With that, with that ten dollar, you can literally climb cap, do something, buy a time, buy a branding credit. You can even buy literally your brain. You can literally buy. It goes a long way. It's like ten rand goes a long way. That little goes a long way. But your family members decided they can be family members to show the true colors. That is what you're gonna witness. Pasadi, you show, you show, you show, show. That's what you're gonna witness. You're gonna witness your family's true colors. They are not gonna care about you. They're not gonna give a flip about you they are not trust me trust me no 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 they are not like literally you are gonna have the gang of people that are always gonna support you they're always gonna be behind you whenever you need this they're always you know you'll have emotional physical they're gonna be there for you financially emotionally physically you'll have that group of aunts and uncles and family members but a met that much of but a majority part of them worry for call worry no 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 they don't give a damn about you. So you're gonna literally witness your family's true colors. Here. Here. Pastor D. You're literally gonna witness your family's true colors. Number nine, and this is highly advisable. Number nine, start your own business. That way you're gonna have money throughout the entire month. Trust me. Start your business, especially when you're gonna be staying in like a student residence, like I am staying. You're gonna be staying in in student residence. You're gonna be staying at the hostel. You're gonna be staying, you know, at student accommodations, or you're gonna be staying in people that are, you know, you're gonna stay surrounded by students or by a multiple number of people. Always have a business, sell something, you know, be creative. You know, it's always not just about selling. You can offer like certain services. You know, if you're good in haircut, I mean, if you're good in bar, in 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 in, in, in plating. You can literally start your own business of plating. If you're good in nails, you can have a nail set, start doing nails. If you're good in offering like cleaning services, you can literally have your equipment, you know, start up with a broom and a mop, you know, you can offer like cleaning services at rooms. Like this happens, like literally. This happens at rest, this happens at student accommodations, this happens at hostels, like people literally offer their services. You can literally have your own mini barber shop, you know, you cut hair around, you know, for at a cheaper student discount. Always learn it. Also, if you start a business, give us student discount, guys. We are students, let us, let us, let us, let us be considerable with each other ne? let us be generous with each other let us be considerable consider us we should always get student discounts i'm kidding but always start a business like personally for me this year i offered services um i offered various services i was like literally here yeah, selling cupcakes i was selling uh, what is this ice cream um i sold ice um i sold i sold i sold yeah 
I saw that like literally and I would have money throughout the entire month like I would hardly be out of bread I would hardly be out of you know some vegetables I would hardly be out of you know those small things that I would always need you know so I would always have money I would hardly be out of cap money especially cap money because I'd always want to go to town to like stock up on my on my on my on my um goods so yeah I would be hardly out of cash because I have my business and what but also if you're not staying in like resident student accommodation like in hostel or something where you're surrounded by multiple students or multiple group of people you can also start a business at home whereby you sell you know things at campus and guys people literally do this you can literally buy phone covers you know that is like in demand like every student almost every student has phones so you can literally like sell um phone accessories like you sell phone covers adapters chargers you know you sell protectors screen what and that you can sell like um i don't know how you call those things like i saw a student like sold those things you can sell bolas you can literally order with me what what in summertime you can sell these bottles at, at campus you can literally sell perfumes at campus you can, you can literally start a variety of things that you can sell it's not only restricted to people that stay like me that stay in rest or hostels you from home from your family's home your dad your mom's or your other family members home you can literally also operate your business that way guys it is very essential for you to be creative and for you i know we are all not a like, business minded or something but i would advise you like i would highly recommend i would highly recommend that you start a business of your own just to have money in it just to have money throughout the entire month you know like have that sense of peace of mind that you know if i'm out of this at least i have this couple of coins to cover up for this you know like so it's, i would highly recommend you to like start a business once you come to varsity at least if you're not business minded in high school try and evolve around your hobbies or try and evolve around how your mindset is said and is how your mindset is like said and like start your own business you know so the last one number 10 i'm actually gonna read this because i wrote this quite long ago. it says don't be pressurized to have something you can't afford or your parents can't afford also you're a first year and the next person is a senior student and they might have been broke and dry in the first year as well like me and always look back to your home and walk towards it i'm literally gonna repeat this it says don't be pressured to have something you know you can't afford or your parents parents can't afford like don't be there you see other students you're like ah the student has this or you know i'm like being pressured i should have this in my room or i should have this i should wear this type of shoes i should have this type of phone what 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 dear black child don't be pressurized to have something that you know that your parents can't afford if you know you want that latest iphone you want that latest shoe if you want that latest shoe what what you know your parents can afford they don't want things that your parents can afford you know rather be thankful and rather be grateful for the small that your parents can give and you know look back towards your home and walk towards that and also the second part of the thing is that um also you're a first year and the next person is a senior student and they might have been broke and dry in their first well as well in their first year as well like me i'm just gonna repeat this you're a first year and the next person is a senior student and they might have been broke and dry in their first year as well just like me like literally i was like dry i was like broke i was dry i was depressed i was turbulented like turbulence turbulented me you know so i was literally that like you know so next year if you see me as a senior student you see like a glow up you see like an iphone 11 you see like a new kicks so whatever just know this is guy save us drug save us a drug broke sister in the first year you know so don't be like look at me like ah oh, she has this like i want that day. you don't know how i was this year so i'm telling you guys this year i was broke and dry so next year if you guys see me as a senior student you can see like a mini glow up don't be like ah oh, this child this child is leaving you know this child i am I'm, I'm sure this child's um life from first year has been smooth and this trust and believe come back go watch my uni vlog and watch this video and watch this even this glow up that you guys can see that that i had that dryness that i had that is my first year dryness that i have had and this is the first year ending literally you know so don't be pressurized to have something that you know your parents can afford don't be pressurized to have something that you feel like you're, you are putting yourself in a like a stagnant situation like you know sometimes you can afford or like you can partly afford like let's say maybe your new shoes or something what you want you are like feeling pressurized you feel like the next person has that and then you like send like money for you know you know you're given allowance and you feel like ah maybe you're given allowance of 2k and you feel like ah, i'm gonna i'm gonna blow this money i'm gonna buy 1.8k shoes $200, what are you gonna do with, with that the whole month? You're gonna buy what? What groceries, what toiletries, you know? And now you're gonna sit there with, with Nike there, you know? Now you're broke and you're hungry. You're broke, you don't have essentials. So don't be pressurized. 
and also you don't know how that person got that seven something you know that person probably was selling things that person probably was doing this that person probably was funded that person probably was so always don't be pressurized guys just stay in your lane and stay in what god is able to provide what your parents are able to provide and what you seem is fit for you if you feel like you're comfortable with this be comfortable with it literally when i came to varsity i was like ah i'll get an iphone this and that and that when i came like literally in the beginning of february when my mind adjusted when my mind was stayed in tune it was like this guy she can't know she can't know she can't know when to do she can't know when to do she can't know when to do I was like, whatever sits in my comfort zone, I will. That's why I started off also buying myself an iPhone 6 Plus. I mean, it wasn't downloading apps that much, you know. An iPhone 6 Plus, guys. Imagine an iPhone 6 Plus. I started there. I started humble. I literally started humble. I wasn't like a rich kid. I started with iPhone 11, what, but I was literally humbled. Vastly humbled me. I didn't have kicks like branded shoes, whatever. What. I literally had only one pair of tickets that I literally wore almost to all my lectures in like two pairs of slides that I would literally wear because i knew i would i was comfortable with this and i fit in that you know floor vibes and i knew that's what my parents would basically afford or something like that so don't be pressurized to have something that you know that you can't that you know that you you will be able to live without it you will be able to be comfortable without it but don't be pressurized just because you see the next person you always look back towards your home and walk towards that if you see your home is like that you, you, you see nah you know our roof is like corrugated still and what what walk towards getting a ceiling in your house if you see like ah our house literally doesn't have tiles it's just cement everywhere walk towards getting your house tiles if you see ah our house is literally just dry outside walk towards getting your house painted walk towards renovating your house walk towards building your own dream home walk towards fixing those broken tires that your dad has been driving the car with or that broken engine that your dad has been driving like walk towards that look back at your home and walk towards that and don't let varsity pressure you guys like don't let varsity put any sort of unnecessary pressure on you guys please i beg you please please so yeah just like that we've come to the end like guys i have literally lost breath like literally my my chest feels like it's pulling itself out i'm literally about to be exalted like yo i spoke yo but i literally feel like my chest is literally pulling itself out you know but yeah, um, so we've literally come to the end of the video. Those are basically the top 10 things that people don't tell you about Varsity. Like legit, I watch so many. And you know, whenever you have to come to go to Varsity the next year, you watch a lot of YouTubers, you know, I mean, uh, a lot of student YouTubers, you know, you watch uni vlogs, you have Varsity, this and that, anything written Varsity. You just want to read. I mean, you just want to watch and just check how those kids are vibing. Because I would watch the African student YouTubers. I would watch this Korean. I forgot her name. It was just, just Sifosami. Um, she's a Chinese student somewhere there, yeah. I would watch Namibian, especially Namibian ones, but then, you know, Namibian, I would, like, compare how they, like, live and everything like that, you know. So, yeah, that was basically just, um, that's basically just how I would, like, try and prepare myself, like, try and prepare. I would not be hopefully, like, hopefully, fully repaired, but I would, like, prepared but i would like try and prepare myself like try and doubt myself i'll be like oh okay nas is like this are you miss like this you know miss like this at least i know my way at least this is the admin blog at least if i see the admin blog i'll be surprised oh my blog oh you know something like that at least i'll know the vibes around it like at least i'll i'll know a little bit of the hang of the things how it is what what i'll follow instagram pages of yunam yunas you know this um various um how do you call it um societies and that and that because already i knew i would like be in a society and everything and also always have that person that you always ask questions for like you know um you're like um how can i get around you know this and they always have that cousin or that aunt that is like an alumni of you know i mean an alumni of that institution that you're going to or just a senior person a senior student that has already been there i swear to god your ways will be smooth but also the senior students don't want to share things like literally i had so many friends that were like first years last year and like second year students this year and since i'm a first year this year i would like ask them what are the ways around what do you do this this that they would like literally would not want to share information guys these kids will be so so stingy i'm like we're i'm literally going to the university i'm going there i'm gonna literally indulge in that i'm literally just asking you to help me but this kid will be so in like stingy they'll be like ah first year <laughs> you know i would be like you were like a first year just like two months ago like you know so they'll always like they be like big headed just because they're like senior students like i don't know if i'll feel that way but i don't think i don't think i'll feel that way but yeah they'll be like big headed and you know like it will get to their head and then they'll just feel like that but always have that family member that you know that is an alumni or like a friend that is like a senior student also an alumni of their institution that you're going to and that will make your ways i mean your ways and movements around and like operations around the campus or the university much more smoother you know 
so yeah those are basically just the top 10 things that people don't tell you about varsity if you think i left out something you guys can basically comment in the comment section i'm i'm gonna urge also my fellow students to also watch this video so if you feel like things that i left out you guys can comment in the i mean you guys can drop um have your say in the comment section so that we can have a discussion about it and i'm also gonna make sure that this video is not like copyrighted my last video was copyrighted but not like affected copyrighted i didn't get a strike it was like copyrighted but it was still safe but it was not downloadable so i hope this one is downloadable i pray that it's downloadable yeah so yeah so basically we've come to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please do i, I mean if you come to this point just like give this video a thumbs up like literally like this video and subscribe please subscribe to my channel if, if you haven't let's beat the youtube algorithm let us beat the youtube algorithm and we can basically just do this like if we work together for Stangela. so let's beat the youtube algorithm and please don't forget to comment like comment as much as you can blow up the comment section as much as you can like subscribe turn on the notification bell do the most and definitely share my link on instagram family friends neighbors dogs cats everything everyone you know so yeah we've come to the end of this video um see you guys in my next vlog that i'm dropping on sunday and yeah i hope you guys enjoy varsity life and all the best and also congratulations if you come to the end of your school journey you're officially unemployed for now you're officially unemployed first angela you are unemployed citizen you guys have topped like you guys have like literally piled up like the gap of unemployment in this country you are destroying the economy you are destroying the economy with the unemployment yeah i'm hearing but yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video um don't forget to dazzle and always rise beyond your shine you know always rise beyond your shine so yeah love sending love and light and consistency Love you guys so much and see you guys in my next video. Bye.